Yo, it's me, Big Nose. Do you want the best player on the game? Well, you can't get Dimani, because he's probably not in FIFA. No. So, get Phil Bosley. Get all the Phil Bosley. So, if you're looking for the best way to get coins, don't spend fewer points. Go over to usermy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins. Use code VISA at checkout, and most importantly, enjoy the video. So, what is up, guys? How you all doing? It's me, Vizza, and I'm on FIFA 20, which is a, a weird look recently, I must say. But I've had some time to reflect on everything recently, and that is mainly including my stance on the new FIFA, my thoughts on it. Am I actually excited for this? Am I really excited for the new FIFA? And I think I am. I think I am excited. I guess I've, I took three months off, like, not playing this game at all. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys my actual team. This is my team, which is a great team, I'd be honest. But... If you can't tell, I've got not a single Summer Heat player. This is just my team, which I left it off. I literally just completed that team of the season, flashback, Mertens, and then I've played like one weekend league, and then I'll be done. I've not played this game since the last weekend league of team of the season. And because that's because I felt like I felt any time to get away, the most enjoyable thing about FIFA is grinding your way up. And when you grind your way up, you get into, you know, teams like this and you can start and work your way up. So I had a team with, you know, like the pie for like ages, which I thought was amazing. I had Mares, Shapes of the Mares. I took the game like proper seriously at one stage. And then I got to this team and I thought what's the point of playing? Because, yes, I can make the team a bit better. I can get, like, you know, these SBCs with, you know, this Usman Dembele, Summer Heats and Ribery and whatever else. But I kind of felt like the stress that I would have to go through to really get these players, which wouldn't make the team even that much better, it kind of felt kind of pointless for me. And because the new FIFA is just around the corner, I thought there's no real point really playing the game um, to actually, you know, grind a thousand hours and you just get these players. And because it is, you know, quite a, a lot of effort to get these guys done. Of course, Ribery, 88, 86, 86, 85, like, you know what I mean, man? So I've had time off FIFA. I've played like three, four games um, of 20 recently just to get back into swing of things. And, you know, I've been doing really well. I've been winning games, um, even me not playing a game for like months. I still know what to do with fucking ball rolls and drag backs and, you know, Lack like of catches here and there. I can do heel to heels and I know to shoot here and there. I've got a pretty good idea, so I'm pretty excited that I won't be that awful for the new FIFA, despite the fact I've not played it for quite a long time. And I want to talk to you guys as well because I'm going to be massively um, on Twitch for the start of this FIFA and hopefully for the entire year. Um, I'm trying to also do Twitch as well as YouTube. And my plan with YouTube is that I want to do, I want to do double uploads for the first like week, two weeks, three weeks of FIFA. I just do double uploads as much as I can. Maybe not Fridays, but as much as I can. And then on Twitch, I'll be live pretty much like for 10 hours a day. Because right now, there's not really much I can really do other than 21 content and there's no content right now. So people don't people just kind of don't really care other than the game's out. So this is why I want to do a video talking Talk about a channel, talking about FIFA, talk, talking about my stance on the game, and also there's been this brand new magazine um, which got released with EA. Um, actually, it's not EA, but it's a magazine. I think it's, I think it's called like Smiths, some company, on like toy. It's a toy company, and it's a magazine, and it's a promotion. It saying this, which is kind of disgusting, saying. Step one, get the game or log into FIFA Ultimate Team. Then step two, load up FIFA points to open packs. And then step three, build your dreams, your dream team. Which I find out really mad that this company, which I don't think it's massively EA's fault because you know, I, I feel like they must have approval to have this because it's not like some random magazine, it's, it's a toy company. I don't know if they had approval by EA, I'm not too sure, but it does seem quite dodgy that a toy company, which is, you know, a toy is for kids. They make a magazine and it literally says load up FIFA points, which is, I don't even want to go into it because it's just, it's disgusting. And the entire gambling part of this game, I've had a lot of you guys talk to me on my Twitch live streams, which by the way, twitch.tv forward slash visit, I'm there every day from now on, so go and check me out over there. But yeah, um... It's a bit weird because most of you guys have come to me saying that you guys really do appreciate me reminding you guys how stupid the price of the fuel points are, how extortionately valued they are. They, they, there's no value in it at all in any fuel points. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a complete RTG. Um, 
even though I will be the first one to say that I have been, I wouldn't say a hypocrite, but I start to reach FIFA, I put on like 150 pounds on because I've always told myself that, well, I need to put money on to get some coins and start so then I can do content. For example, I could do that advanced SBC video if I have coins and so on and so forth. That's what I tell myself because I, you know, I want to do a video with the SBCs. I, you know, I want to do the advanced SBCs and I will be doing that the best and cheapest way to do the SBCs. I kind of felt like I can't go about to you guys saying don't put points on, don't put points on, don't put points on. Then I say, oh yeah, but I am putting points on, but that's for content purposes. I think that's a bit of a you know, I think that's not really right. And even as me buying the game alone, you know, because some people are saying, oh, if you don't like it, don't play the game. And I've realized that me playing the game recently, because I've had such, you know, such a long time away, I've been just having fun of it. But that's probably because I've, I'm using players that are good. I can use players, you know, like the likes of Neymar and Werner and Mertens who are fast, agile, fun on the ball players and I can enjoy the game and I know that when I get to FIFA 21 I'm going to be using you know 78 rated you know French players and you know with like 70 pace a left back you know what I mean so I'm used to that but I like that I like the grind and this is why we love FIFA and again I would, I would go for an entire video. I've actually already gone through a video about eight ways that you can make money on this game without putting in fuel points. You need to know this before you play the game. I've already done it before. Check it from last week. It will help you guys a lot. But I am looking forward to this FIFA, not just because it's content and I got something to do for YouTube and Twitch, you know, which people will enjoy a lot more because recently, I think every single content creator is a bit on a, a downer right now because we're all waiting for the same thing. But um, in terms of the actual game itself, I'm just looking forward to just grind something again. I feel like I've not really been doing much, which I'm helpful for that, you know, I can just go outside and go do whatever I want. But I am a football fan and, you know, FIFA is just a game which I've always played. and. And just can't, I can't wait for the RTG. I want to do an RTG. It'll be on my Twitch. And I may bring it over to my YouTube. If you guys do want to see an RTG, then let me know. Uh, because I think I will be doing that. But um, yeah, I thought that I, did, I didn't want this to be like a massive like edited video. Because... I don't know, I feel like it's easier to like get my point across in this sort of manner. In terms of starter teams for me, I'm going to be looking at teams like this. Teams using especially the likes of Bakambu, Aztec Shearer, the sort of CSL um, strikers and forwards because I feel like that's a lot more better value than, I mean, I need to say, do not use BPL sort of teams. Don't start with a BPL team. You literally, like, you'll lose so much money instantly. You'll lose money, you know, no matter what player you pick, but in terms of BPL, it's not worth it in any way so just don't bother but this is like I said this is a team which I would want to use um I feel like Sanchez maybe with quite a bit maybe like five six K but Maracano no Mendes no Kamara maybe because it's league gun but probably like three four K Sacco probably not worth probably not worth that much this is a team that I'm gonna go for uh, for the first like the first day like first day first two days I'm gonna be grinding or trading I'm gonna get my investments in and I'll be doing a video each day alongside the brand new launch with the 10 hours of the access. I'll make sure I get, a, I get a glitch for the 10 hours of the access so that you guys can get on them to the hours. I'll be doing investments, trading, sniping, gameplay, tips and stuff like that. I'll be doing literally everything, career mode experiments. I want to like dip like my toes in every single part of it. And because I like doing it, I like just throwing other things out there that you guys can get a variety of different, of different styles of content really. I have been seeing people make start teams like this and I'm like, I don't think you understand how much a Klosterman will really be. He'd be worth so much because it's Bundesliga, he's got pace, he's set back, like it's just like Promes alone is going to be worth like probably like 15k to start the game as well. Like Malin, because he's got the link to Promes as well, be worth about like 4k. But I guess that's not end of the world, I guess. I feel like my frustrations with FIFA in the last couple of months, I've, I've took it personally. You know, like if there's a glitch, if there's an issue with the gameplay, I've took it personally and I feel like I shouldn't do that as much anymore. Like I've got a bit older now to know that it's not just all EA's fault, that some things of it is also the community as well. So I've got a different mindset into this FIFA and I just want to just enjoy something again, just have a laugh. And if some BS happens, then I'm just going to laugh it off. I'll try my best. I'm not gonna I'm gonna rage. I'm not gonna rage because that's what FIFA does to you. And my one issue with EA, which is 
I'm still concerned that if you are a casual, that you probably will not have that much fun with this game. I remember in my last stream, I was talking to a guy who said that he's gonna like whack on some points on because he doesn't play the game that much, so he can't really, you know, get rewards as much. He can't do squad battles. He can't do rivals really. Um, if he can, he can't do it that well because he gets he has an hour or two each day to play the game. And I said, what's really the point of you putting points on? in a way to catch up when you aren't going to play the game that much anyway. And he said, yeah, you have a, you have a real point because we realised that the only way to really play the game in terms of Ultimate Team, especially, well, the only way, is you play Rivals, so then you get qualified to Foot Champs. And that when Foot Champs, you get rewards. With Rivals, you get rewards. With Squad Battles, you do get rewards. With, you, can, you can get quite easy rewards for Squad Battles, but it does take... I mean, you got to play like 30, 40 games. Like, I don't think you understand. That is a lot of time. That's like 9, 10 hours just to play against the offline computer each week. It is ridiculous. So, that's my one issue. But other than that, I will be doing everything which you have to know with FIFA. I'm on twitch.tv forward slash visa. The ball pulls on YouTube. Also, daily... 7, 8, 9, 10 hours streaming on Twitch. I'm probably not going to get any sleep, but hey, it's the main time of the year. So thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time here. Like and subscribe if you're new. And thank you for watching. My name is Viz. I'll see you next time. <laughs>